stress and disease attack cause losses on rice cultivation, so control management becomes necessary. Knowledge about the types of pests and disease become the main requirement to carry out control with the desired result. In rice cultivation, several types of pests and disease are considered very important as the main pests and disease. They are brown plant hopper, rice temporer, rats, blast disease, bacterial leaf blight, tungro virus disease, and dwarf virus disease. Brown plant hopper, Nila Parvata Lugat. The brown plant hopper is an R strategic pest that can breed and find its habitat quickly. It easily adapts through forming new biotypes. Brown plant hoppers damage rice plant by sucking plant fluids that make plant become dry like burning. Therefore, it usually called hopper burn. The growth stage of the brown plant hopper include egg, nymph, and amago. The following is the growth stage of the brown plant hopper and the symptoms. Brown plant hopper also transmit rich stun virus, Grazistan virus type 1 and Grazistan virus type 2. Registan. This disease is caused by a virus transmitted by the brown plant hopper. Symptoms include shortening of the leaves and the leaves are sometimes found as twisted. In the generative stage, the panicles cannot come out or cannot come out completely. From the panicles that appear, the grain cannot fill so that it becomes empty. Resistant disease This disease is caused by the rife Grazistan virus. This disease has two types of symptoms, that is Grazistan type 1 and 2. The symptoms of Grazistan type 1 are very stunted plant with more tillers than normal, short and narrow leaves with yellowish green color, sometimes show rustly color specks. The clump of plants looks like grass. Plant which is already infected cannot form panicle. Grazistan type 2 has very different symptoms from Grazistan type 1. In generative stage, Infected plants have normal growth, volume leaf size, and the number of tillers, but some leaves turn yellow to orange. Rice stem borer In Indonesia, six species of rice stem borer have been found. Out of six species, there are four species become the main pest of rice. One of the most dominant is the yellow rice stem borer, Sirpopega incertulus. The amago of the yellow rice stem borer has yellow wings with black dots on the forewings. The amago of the yellow rice stem borer lays its eggs in masses and placed on the tips of the leaves. The number of eggs are 50 to 150 eggs per masses. The egg masses are covered with yellowish brown fine hairs. Yellow rice stem borer can attack all growth stage of rice plants. Attack in the vegetative stage cause the death of young tillers called dead hearts. Attacks in the generative stage cause the panicles to appear white and hollow called white hats. Biological agents, Ceratia marcescens, Metorizium anisoplea, Bilveria bassiana, and physical and mechanical control using light traps are technologies for controlling brown plant hoppers and yellow rice stem borers. Red Reds or Retus argentiventer are the main pests of rice that cause the most damage. Rats are mammals that have different characteristics from insects as pests, therefore it needs specific control management. Reproduction is an important factor in rat population dynamics. Female rats are ready to mate at 30 days old and males are at 60 days old. The period of pregnancy and lactation are 21 days respectively, and it can remain 
48 hours after giving birth. Each bird produces an average of 10 pups with sex ratio of 1 to 1. One female rat can potentially give birth four times during its life cycle and can grow to 80 rats in one rice planting season. Technologies to control rat in Indonesia include trap barrier system, fumigation, and biological control with owls. The rice plant disease can be caused by pathogens from bacteria, fungi, and virus. The main disease in rice plant include blast, bacterial leaf blight, and tungro disease. Blast The blast disease is caused by pathogens from the fungal group, namely Pericularia orizae. This pathogen can attack leaves as leaf blast and panicles as neck blast. The symptoms of leaf blast are distinctive spots with rhombus-like shape. The center of the spot is usually whitish gray and the margin is usually reddish brown, while the neck blast symptoms are the appearance of brown spots on the panicle neck with panicle breaking as the next symptoms. Bacterial leaf blight Bacterial leaf blight disease is caused by pathogens from the bacterial group, namely Santomonas orizae pv orizae. This bacterium has a whitish yellow to straw yellow colored colony. Single colony is circular, convex with a smooth and shiny surface. This disease has two types of symptoms based on the growth stage of infected plant. The first symptom is crescent at early stage or seedling, and the second symptom is blight at generative stage. However, this disease is generally found in the generative phase, that is the primordial phase to flowering. In the generative stage, the early symptoms is grayish colored spots starting from the edge of the leaf and extending along the direction of the leaf blade. In the advanced symptom, the spot can expand to cover the entire leaf blade. The spots turn to straw yellow and eventually the leaves dry up. Tungro Tungro disease is caused by complex infection of two viruses rice tungro bacillivum virus and rice tungro spherical virus which is transmitted by green leaf hoppers especially nepotetic virescence distant symptoms of tungro disease can be seen on the leaves especially young leaves the leaves look like spots or metal and chlorosis between the veins leaf blades look yellow to orange and slightly bent Furthermore, the plant becomes stunted. Disease control, especially for seed-borne diseases. Rice disease caused by bacteria or fungi are generally seed-borne. Pathogens of bacterial leaf blight and blast are known to be carried by seeds, so it can be controlled as early as possible as seed treatment. There are several seed treatment techniques to eliminate seed-borne pathogens including washing with water. Washing seeds with water can reduce seed-borne pathogens. High temperature treatment such as soaking seeds in hot water, high temperature steam or oven. Soaking the seeds in hot water at 50 to 55 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes can reduce seed-borne pathogens. Seed treatment with pesticides like fungicides or bactericides. Seed treatment can be done by soaking the seed in a fungicide or bactericide solution. The ratio between water and seeds is 2 to 1. For 1 kg of seed requires 2 liters of water. The dosage used in accordance with the recommended dose. The pesticide was dissolved in water until homogeneous and the seeds were put in the pesticide solution and stirred well.
soaking for 24 hours with every 6 hours stirring. The seeds are then trained and allowed to stand for one night and are ready to be planted or sown the next day.